Hi friends, welcome to my class. Today we are going to see about how to calculate cooling capacity for the cooling towers in order to design the new cooling towers. Cooling capacity is measured by ton. For calculating ton, we need to know how to calculate the BTU, which is British Thermal Unit, because the refrigeration ton is relations with British Thermal Unit. One ton of refrigeration equal to 12,000 British Thermal Unit per hour. BTU is a measure of the heat content of fuels or energy sources. It is the quantity of heat required to raise the temperature of one pound of liquid water by one degree Fahrenheit at the temperature that water has its greater density, which is approximately 39 degree Fahrenheit. Let's see what is the formula to calculate cooling capacity. To calculate British thermal unit by hour, which is BDU by hour equal Q times 8.33 times temperature in Fahrenheit. Here let's see what Q means. Q is here flow rate of water in gallons per hour. Temperature in Fahrenheit means differential temperature in the water. Let's see how to calculate differential pressure. Differential pressure which is the difference between incoming water temperature and recure chill water temperature. So let's have an example. So what size of chiller unit is recured to cool 2400 gallons per hour from 70 Fahrenheit to 58 Fahrenheit. So here it's clearly mentioned the flow rate Q is 2400 gallons per hour. The incoming water temperature is 70 Fahrenheit and the chiller temperature recure is 58 degree Fahrenheit. So if you apply this given values to this we to this formula we can get 12 Fahrenheit of differential temperature. So let's find out British thermal unit per hour. Just apply the given values in the formula. So Q is 2400 gallons per hour times 8.33 times 12 degree Fahrenheit which we calculated so once you multiply these numbers you can get 239,904 British thermal unit per hour as we know 1 ton equal to 12,000 British thermal unit per hour so 239,904 BTU per hour divided by 12,000 you can get 19.9 tons. So normally when we are designing the cooling towers we need to always consider 20 percentage more. This is some normal standard recommendation. Then if we increase the ton capacity to one more 20 percentage then you can get 23.9 tons which is when we take this as round number you can get 24 ton chiller is required sometimes cooling capacity is measured by kilowatts so here is the conversion from ton to kilowatts 1 ton equal to 3.52 kilowatts so our requirement was as per our calculation we found 24 ton chiller is required then 24 times 3.52 you can get 84.5 kilowatts Thank you.